I have been generating content on the YouTube platform without using my face or voice for about seven years and currently manage eight different channels on YouTube with a team of 12 people. Through this process, I have gained a great deal of experience and have come to the realization that the majority of training channels on YouTube provide information that is either inadequate or incorrect. I am therefore here to discuss the real methods that can be used to achieve success. First of all, one of the mistakes that many people make is to focus on a number of different channels at the same time. Although this makes perfect sense in theory, it is extremely challenging and almost impossible to achieve, especially for individual content creators. Despite the fact that I am currently managing eight channels, I am able to achieve this success because I have a strong team behind me. For those of you going it alone, my advice is to focus all your efforts and resources on one channel. By using the revenue from that channel to launch other channels, you can provide quality content, build your following, and create more opportunities for your team. By building a strong foundation in this way, you will be able to successfully manage multiple channels over time. A second common misconception is that those who produce material in the most watched or popular categories will automatically succeed. Competition in these areas is fierce and it can be difficult for newcomers to identify the best candidates. There are millions of videos in these categories and thousands of new pieces of content are added every day. Because of the fierce competition, even if you produce quality material, it is possible to get lost in the vast sea of content because YouTube's algorithm often promotes videos that users have already shown an interest in or that have a large audience. This puts lesser known producers and those just starting out at a disadvantage. By targeting and specializing in a specific demographic, you can increase the exposure of your material and build a loyal audience. This is because you will be targeting more niche and less competitive sectors. In the context of this article, I would like to make one more introduction. From what I have observed, many YouTube educational channels recommend categories and tell you that you can create content in these categories. However, when it comes to these categories that are published publicly, the level of competition suddenly jumps and it becomes extremely difficult for individuals who are new to the field to advance their careers. On the other hand, even if they do, it may not be possible to monetize new channels if everyone is imitating that category. Please be alert and vigilant at all times. It is also a common mistake to try to get subscribers quickly by using YouTube Shorts and then move to the long form video format once you have those subscribers. It would be a mistake to think that the viewers who are interested in your short form films will be interested in your longer form videos, even though the shorts format offers the opportunity to quickly build a following by providing short interactive content. Unfortunately, the algorithm that YouTube uses does not seem to allow users to share both long form and short form videos on the platform at the same time. Having both short and long form videos on a channel makes it more difficult for the algorithm to show that content to the audience it is intended for. This is because the system makes content recommendations based on the viewer's previous viewing behavior. The visibility and reach of long form video in particular is significantly impacted as a result. To address this issue, the creation of separate channels for long form and short form video provides a clear distinction between audiences for each format. Others believe that search engine optimization is becoming less important on YouTube. On the other hand, using the right tags and keywords is still very important. Using the right tags to ensure that your videos show up in relevant searches and recommendations is a great way to increase the number of people who receive your material and make it more relevant to them. You will see an increase in views and your channel will grow as a result. I want you to really think about this. If you are not paying attention to search engine optimization, it is very likely that you will be recommended to the wrong audience. The impression click-through rate and average view time, both of which are used to evaluate the quality of your films, will suffer as a result of this negative impact. Using long and unrelated introductions at the beginning of videos is another common mistake people make. Although average view time is an important metric on YouTube, there is another metric that is far more important. 
The performance you are referring to is the first 30 seconds of your video, especially on my channels and videos. If the performance in the first 30 seconds is maintained at a level higher than 70% and it has a much greater potential to explode. When it comes to the beginning of their videos, successful content creators tend to favor a short and powerful introduction that immediately draws viewers in. Long introductions have the potential to cause viewers to lose interest and leave the video. By using dynamic editing, compelling sound effects, and graphic features, it is possible to liven up the film and keep viewers interested. Last but not least, another common mistake that creators make is not spending enough time on the thumbnail and title. Not only is the video itself important, but the thumbnail and title are also very important. Both the thumbnail and the title of your video should be appealing in order to significantly increase the click-through rate of your video and increase the likelihood that the algorithm will recommend it. You can increase the number of people who watch your film by paying enough attention to these components, which will influence the first impression people have of it. The piece of advice that I think is the most important is to put as much effort into your thumbnail and title as you do into editing your video. Give it your all. The key to success on YouTube is patience, discipline, and applying the right strategies. About seven years ago, I started producing content on YouTube while working as a waiter to support my family. My discipline and patience have been my biggest supporters in this process. Never despair, focus on working and moving forward in the light of the right information. Believe that you will succeed.